Hey guys, so today I have my 12 to 17 week pregnancy vlog. Um, in case you're wondering, I definitely am going to start doing these closer together soon. Um, there just really hasn't been a ton to talk about. Um, yeah, so I am going to talk about a few things that I forgot to talk about in my last vlog or update. And I put them down on my phone so I wouldn't forget. And I am still like super congested and right now I feel like I'm in a tunnel, I can't really hear. But I think like some of the congestion must be just from being pregnant. But um, at least before I definitely was actually sick because I just felt so lousy and um, still even off and on. But and of course I did have a fever like twice last month. so. Yeah, but I'm still congested and I feel like I have a frog in my throat constantly, <clears throat> but yeah, so hopefully I can get through this without too much coughing. <laughs> um, so since my last vlog, which was around 12 weeks, I have had two appointments, one about 13 weeks and then one just, just past Monday, which was about 17 and a half weeks. And both of them were just really quick and to the point, take weight, blood pressure, um, and listen to baby's heartbeat. Um, <clears throat> and at 13 weeks, baby's heartbeat was about 160, I believe they said. And then on Monday, it was 153. So, I know everybody's different, but according to that, I'm kind of thinking that and for other reasons I'm not thinking of the girl but we'll see um, I do hopefully finally find out on February 3rd I have my full detailed scan and to make sure everything's good with baby and hopefully find out gender finally I really wanted to do it sooner but they wouldn't let me I, at my office they like you to be when they do that almost 22 weeks which I will be almost 22. So yeah, I can't wait to finally start getting stuff for the nursery and um, yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, I've had two appointments, went well. Um, I've officially gained five pounds, which when I got on that scale, I was like, what? But obviously that's normal. Um, I looked up and I think it's like, five to ten pounds is normal even by now and at my last appointment at 13 weeks I hadn't gained any yet and then within the last four weeks apparently I gained five pounds so yeah but, but obviously that's normal um cravings I really haven't had that many nothing weird um I did have kind of an aversion to chicken um at the beginning but now like I love chicken and sweet potatoes which I love sweet potatoes before especially in the winter but yeah I just love chicken and sweet potatoes the only chicken I absolutely cannot do and I still kind of just the thought of it just ugh, um Chinese like I can do chicken teriyaki but like the sesame chicken and everything I liked before no, no, it just it does not even sound appealing. And if my husband gets his Chinese, just the smell of it is just kind of off putting. <laughs> so, yeah, probably that's my only real. The, and the only the other thing that I really wanted was like a big bowl of Rocky Road ice cream. But I've been so congested that I've been avoiding sugar and dairy. So I had a few bites here and there, and I still have a bunch of most of the carton that I got of it in the freezer but yeah I haven't been able to eat much of it <clears throat> just because I've been so congested um but it's probably good because I don't want to gain too much weight <laughs> um <clears throat> then um something I did find out at this last appointment was that apparently well my blood type is O negative which I don't know a whole lot about, but they told me before, like, 
that's the kind of blood they want at all the blood drives and everything because I can give blood to anyone. But this time I found out I'm also RH negative, which is a lot more uncommon apparently. And because even my baby could be RH positive, I have to get a shot at 28 weeks to prevent any problems if our blood were to ever mix which is not likely unless you like fall and get hurt or something. But um, yeah, and then if baby is positive after birth, I think it is, I have to get another shot to make sure my body doesn't reject my next pregnancy. I don't really understand the whole thing, but I asked about it in a group that I'm in on Facebook for moms. Um, that a friend of mine from college started and there was a lot of replies saying a lot of people experience the same thing and apparently that shot hurts <laughs> pretty bad so I'm not looking forward to it but gotta do what you gotta do right so um <clears throat> yes so that'll be at 28 weeks I have to get that shot so yeah and right now I'm 18 I'm 18 weeks right now one thing that's definitely been apparent this past week is the belly stretching um it's been getting especially in the morning and at night it's been getting really itchy and of course I've been moisturizing morning and night and I might have to start doing it like midday too to prevent stretch marks but um yeah like when I'm in the shower, it'll get really itchy and then, like I said, at night. So I finally got some belly butter. Um, makeup by Tiffany D talks about this a lot. She's due pretty soon with her baby girl. Um, but it's the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. So I have really been liking this. And it does seem to help with the itchiness and everything. So, yeah. I like that and um, also like growing pains a lot of times especially late at night <clears throat> I'll feel like my stomach muscles are kind of like stretching <laughs> to make room and it does hurt sometimes and I've also started to get a little bit of the back pain um, yeah so I may really need to go to a chiropractor um, which I didn't really want to because it's expensive, but, um, even way before I had a feeling I might need a chiropractor because I did have to go to one when I was in high school, um, because the pain at one point got really bad from my scoliosis. And then of course, two years ago, <clears throat> I fractured my pelvis in three places. So that's another reason I had wanted to wait a little bit more after that. To have kids and make sure my body had time to heal and um that was getting less achy and everything so i'm thinking i might get more like hip pain and stuff from that hopefully not too much but i might need a chiropractor to kind of straighten things out um yeah so i feel like i don't really have much else to talk about i talked about appointments cravings food diversions everything um, <clears throat> like I said, I'll definitely start doing vlogs closer together, um, pretty soon when I have more to talk about and things are changing faster, um, when I start feeling maybe move and we find out the gender and start working on nursery, obviously, and start getting baby stuff, which I am super excited about. Um, yeah. So I'll show you the bump. It's definitely grown a little bit and gotten a little rounder. So <clears throat> that is the bump. Well, you can see, but it's definitely popped out a little bit more. I already feel big, but I know I'll be laughing about that in about two or three months. So yeah, I love these. Um, basically, just been wearing 
Um, you can see the line from my fleece lined leggings that I got on eBay for really cheap from, um, what's it called? Gaudy Springs. They're like one size fits all and they're super soft and stretchy. So I've been living in those. Um, and then I live in jean skirts. So I've been wearing this one, that's maternity. And then if I don't wear this one, I'll like rubber band around a but the button of a regular one. And then these stretchy tank tops from Target. I've been wearing a lot. And um, I also just ordered two um, kind of maxi skirts on clearance from Target. So hopefully those will work out. Because as soon as the weather warms up, I cannot wait to be wearing like maxis and stuff. But right now it's just too cold because my boots I can't really wear with maxi skirts. And I'm not about to go outside in flats. So, yeah. Anyway, so my husband and I are going to go out and run some errands and go out to eat with a gift card that we got for Applebee's from Christmas. So, yeah, I feel like I'm still forgetting something, but, oh, and in case you're wondering, um, I looked at my baby bump app and baby is about six inches and the size of an heirloom tomato and weighs about, let's see, <clears throat> they weigh about 8.5 ounces right now. So obviously they have a lot of growing to do, um, especially in this second and third trimester. Um, oh, yeah morning sickness. Um, I still have morning sickness, <laughs> but this week I feel like it's kind of getting, kind of, starting to make its exit, hopefully for good, but I've heard sometimes it can come back even in the third trimester, um, and I know everybody's different, but, um, what's well, definitely helped, I feel like lately, is if I have a really high protein snack right before bed, um, because on the days that I didn't do that, I got sick in the morning, and on the nights that I had something like an apple with a whole bunch of peanut butter or something, um, I was fine in the morning. Maybe just a tiny bit of nausea, but, um, no growing up or anything. So, yeah, so I only got sick, like, this week, like, on Saturday morning and Tuesday morning. And today's Friday. So, yeah, I think that is everything for now. Um, I'm not sure when my next vlog will be, probably just when I feel like I have a lot more to talk about. Um, probably, no, it'll, yeah, probably right after we find out the gender, because that's in about four weeks, and um, that'll still be closer together than my last, this one, and... Like a car less space. Anyway, <laughs> I cannot even think. I have pregnancy brain and yeah, these vlogs towards the end are probably going <laughs> to get pretty bad, <laughs> but um, hopefully you can still enjoy them. But anyway, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.